Hello again, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is going to be a quick one. You know, I put up a video about, I guess, a week ago asking for help for Tessa because she needs new brakes and rotors. And if she had gotten enough, she was going to look into getting tires. I think she's gotten a new used one recently, like a month or two ago, and we took up a collection, She, I think. But anyway... I'm going to read you what she's found, and I need you fellows who know about brakes to tell us, is this wise, all right? It might be all she can do, though. She said, okay, I don't know what I said to her, but she said, I know that's right. Okay, laugh out loud later. This must have been another subject. Please pray. I picked the right person to do brakes and rotors. I found a 199 special around town, but he would resurface or rotate rotors for that price instead of replace them. It would be 440 with tax. She said, just about have that much. She almost has that much. Close to it. He would not change out the brake fluid either for that price. Now, who does brakes? How can you do brakes without draining the brake fluid and then replacing it? Is it that expensive? All right. You know, some... I hate to say it, but a lot of mechanics just love to take advantage of women. And y'all know it's true. You have to know something going into these places and let them know. Look, I happen to know. I've been asking people and that this is such and such and shouldn't be no more than so much. You know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, she said um, he would not change out rate fluid either for that price. The other place said, you should when changing brakes and rotors. I did more Google search. I'll check more places later to decide if I should wait until more funds come in and try other places or not. I'll keep praying about it too that I can make the best decision. Yes, we need advice. And prayers for her to make the best decision. Because she's been going on bad breaks for a while now. And i just been praying that God's holy angels would go down the road with her and stop her. You know, help her stop. Because really, you know, this is an important issue. This is not just something like a cracked window that you can tape up with duct tape looks ugly but you can get by with it you know i've seen a lot of that down here in the south okay um i guess that's it so i'll end it here and uh god bless any of you that have helped if any of you could still help oh i don't have the information to put in this video um i'll link the original video i'll find it i'll link it and you can find it if you can still help Help her come up with a little more because, you know, that one guy wanted 800 to do it all. And if this one said he'll do it for 440 but that's with rotating them and resurf resurface or rotate rotors for that price instead of replace them. It would be 440 with tax but not change the fluid. And I think that's as foolish as a doctor uh, operating on your appendix. You lose blood and they don't give you any more food or what. I mean, I don't know. I can't think of an example, but it's like you, you're not doing the whole job. And, uh, Evil abounds, people. Evil abounds. It's just somebody wanting to take what she's got and not do the job right. So sick of it.
I am so sick of it. Oh, don't even get me started. I'm going to end it here. God bless each and every one of you. I love you all. I pray you have a good night or a good day. Wherever you are, whenever you see this, and keep looking up. Hey, today's August 22nd. We could be going home soon. Hey, wouldn't that be great? Oh, it'd be... So oh. Don't get me started. <laughs> okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Still working on that. How to spread the gospel. I, I'm at a loss for which scriptures, which words. How, you know, because a young person in Christ... I'll take any advice y'all want to give me, okay? Because someone young in Christ, you know, maybe all they can do is hand out a gospel tract. That may be all you can do in the beginning, but when you're ready to speak and you want to speak, I watched one video. It's great. I took notes, but I want to, uh, you know, he didn't mention using scriptures, which is what I thought, that maybe we shouldn't pour scriptures out on them. Although I learned that in the evangelism explosion class that I took. It was nine weeks long. And we learned all this stuff and all these scriptures. Anyway, I, I won't keep going on. I'm still working on that. All right. Bye for now. I'll talk to you all later.